fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, man that's Don Papon, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash or nothing. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cat hat, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that time, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears with water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam point a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. When that happened, when he saw Polly Sam and Sierra talk about, but he, like, they didn't talk about. That's something. And the way they killed Morello, that's good. And I don't know what that pick means actually. I just want to for the wall. Any trouble? No bass, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I know a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. 
Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Then you have a plan, then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you will give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and his crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. Then get it done. I like how Tommy got used to it in no time. Yeah. Damn, okay. Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out of there. So he <laughs> so I guess he's the best out there for now. So I will see what he has to say. Hey Tom. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Well, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in a room with a view. Up on the on top, top floor. floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. store has been serving the people of Lost Heaven for more than 65 years. We care for this city and for each and every customer that comes through our door. We want the best for them and their families, and that's why this message is a little different. In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements, and only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the governor's mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the...
the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against grim stepping back on the field in a new power. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's department store and Hank Turnbull leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. Edmunds Tools has all the stock and know-how required to tackle any job that can come up, both at home or in the yard. Whether replacing a bathroom set or building a carport, our staff knows exactly what's needed. And our price guarantee means you won't find what you need for cheaper anywhere locally. Edmunds Tools, for jobs big and small. You're listening to WBDS. Come by and pay a visit to our famous Market Square, where you'll find almost anything your palate may desire. Behringer's, the name you can trust. Giving me a reminder of sewers from uh, which game from your yeah, Resident Evil 2 Dying Light or yeah. And yeah, I really like how these sewers are built. Like it's exactly the same now, you know? Follow the homosexuals.
follow the guard tower. It's, uh, up through the main cell block. He's locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful, you stranger. Where's the main gate? I need to find the main gate and get through it. Yes, that's it. I don't know. I hope I'm going on the right place, maybe. Close to the guard tower. Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs. been out. 